Hi guys and welcome to the next video. So for those who don't know me, my name is Dominika and this video is another video of my minimalism journey. I want to be talking about uh, how I would like to change my wardrobe. And um, I write some things down that I would like to share with you and maybe get you inspired. The things that I will mention in this video are mine. I just sharing my my thoughts and my ideas. So if you'd like to pick something, you might. If not, you don't have to. It's just the thing that I want to practice and I want to achieve. So I used to buy clothes like crazy. I was obsessed with clothes and the fashion trends and I was checking the fashion blogs and buying these fashion magazines and stuff like that. I was a little shopaholic because I was I loved clothes and I when I saw something on sale I would buy it like immediately and then when I got home I regret it because I didn't necessarily need it and I also I also do have steel pieces that I have never worn so uh, minimalism taught me the simpler the better and that's why I want to declutter my wardrobe also. So the first thing that I would like to make are wish lists. And um, before I decide to buy something, I want to make a wish list of the things that I would like to have, the things that I necessarily need. And I would definitely check my wardrobe before I go and buy something and I would like to also um, update those lists and wish lists. I also think that uh, wish lists are a great way how to avoid unnecessary buys. I would definitely check my wardrobe before I go and buy something. The thing is also that I need to be 100% sure of the product that I would consider buying. That means that I would give myself two or three days or I would sleep it over uh, to think about the item, if I really need it, if it's necessary to have and if I still would feel this excitement of the item, I would consider buying it and if there is like no interested anymore I will definitely remove it from my wish list and I will totally forget the item but I just need to be 100% sure of the buy also I do not want to buy in sales I know that sometimes it's like really hard to avoid shopping in sales because it's everything is so cheap and you think that you might need it all it's not actually like that because we don't necessarily need the stuff that is on the sale. Um, I don't want to buy fast fashion and things that are on sales in fast fashion. Of course, ethical and sustainable clothes are expensive. And when there might be a sale, of course, I will buy something that is cheaper than a regular price. But I just want to avoid shopping in sales in fast fashion this is the point that i wanted to say <laughs> also um important thing for me is less is more and that is what also minimalism taught me and here i mean quality over quantity means i would rather invest in one pair of good shoes than in sh five pairs of uh, shoes for just one season or things like that. So the quality have to be good and the thing 
and the thing that I buy uh, should last longer than just w for one season. I also do not want to follow trends. Well, actually, I am not following trends anymore. But I used to actually, as I mentioned, I used to check all the fashion blogs and I wanted to look like the girls that were wearing these nice clothes and outfits and I wanted to be like them. But I realized that following trends doesn't make you happy actually because you try to become someone that you are actually not and you don't even feel comfortable in these clothes that you were wearing well i didn't feel comfortable at those clothes in those clothes that i was buying because it was just in but yeah back then i wanted to be in i wanted to show all the people around that i can afford it but it didn't make me happy actually and that's why I I am not following trends anymore. I definitely stopped buying fashion magazines. I do not follow fashion bloggers and vloggers. And everything that is like trend and in right now fade away someday and somehow. And that is actually not what we want, right? Clothing and fashion is not everything. Um, we don't need to follow trends just to become someone. Finding my own style is also a thing because when you find your own style, you feel comfortable in everything. You feel good about yourself. You start to love yourself. We don't need to hide behind the clothing anymore because we are comfortable in the things that we are wearing and that's the, actually the thing that I wanted to say that if you like the things that you are wearing um, you're satisfied with yourself you feel good about yourself and I think that this is most important thing for you for me for every one of us just to feel good about ourselves, in ourselves, with our body, with everything that we have, that we are. I also want to buy wisely and eco-friendly, ethical clothing and sustainable clothing. Um, I want to pay attention more to the things that I buy, um, what I buy, where I buy it, what the clothing is made of, under which condition clothes were made of. It's also really, really important for me. I know that ethical and sustainable clothes are not um, really cheap. They might be pretty expensive, but um, uh, I would rather invest in something that is m maybe a little bit more expensive, but it will last much longer the good alternative for those like me who doesn't have um, a lot of money the good alternative are second hand second hand stores or charity shops like there you can also find very nice pieces of a good quality and much much cheaper this clothing is also kind of um, inspiring because the clothing has its uh, history and I think it's amazing. So it is not really important if you have like the whole new stuff. Mm, it's also nice to reuse um, things that were already made. It's eco-friendly. So yes, I think I mentioned all the points and all the things that I wanted and the things that are important for me right now at this moment and these things that I would like to stick to. I hope I could inspire you and give you some advice maybe. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up 
and for more videos don't forget to subscribe my channel I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday and um, if you like to know more about me and my life visit my Instagram profile you can also um, read my blog all the links are down in the description below if you have anything to say please um, left comment down under yeah so um and i hope i will see you at the next video very soon <laughs> bye